are back. We're changed. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah. We're so hungry. I think we've been up for like what? Four hours? And we'll meet you there when we get our food. So. Alright, so we made it to breakfast in the beautiful Casa de Bottega. Meal. What did you order? We got an Americano right now. Yummy. An Americano, and then we've also got an acai bowl and an omelet. And then just now I ordered um, the avocado lata, and it's avocado, um, I think coconut, pineapple. I'm gonna try it out. Let's see how it tastes. It's really good. You can't taste the avocado, but. It just makes it like really nice and smooth and creamy. And this is so cute. Look at these cute little plants up there. They're like little ladies and then the plants are their hair. It's so adorable. Such good vibes. Love it. We're just waiting for our food and we'll be right back. This place is like all about organic and healthy. So if you need like a break from like having all of like the carbs and the pasta, definitely come here for some breakfast or get a smoothie. They have lunch. They have this cute little shop on the side. It's like the most adorable thing. I definitely cannot have too much pizza and pasta. I mean, I never thought I would ever say that. So if you're looking for something like that when you're in Positano, definitely come here. And breakfast is served. So we have omelets. Neil got an acai bowl. Look how beautiful that looks. And then I got these banana pancakes. And if you're gluten-free, these are made with oat. So everything is like gluten-free, super healthy and organic. So if you have any food sensitivities or anything like that, this place is perfect for you. I don't, but I just really love food like this. So we are gonna dig in. Ah, this looks so yummy. Got my avocado lata to go. I'm not saying it right, but it's a tongue twister. So we're gonna go back to our room and change and then figure out what we wanna do for the rest of the day. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, you just hanging out? You just chilling out here? I'm gonna try and eat this like a classic like standing up. What if you like drop all of them on the floor? I hope not. But uh, we just left uh, for some lunch, and we found this takeout. Sit down and wait, so. Exactly. How is it? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm hungry. <laughs> so I got the picante, which is like cherry tomatoes. It's kind of chili. mush there, chili, and you got a classic margarita. margarita. All right, we're gonna dig into this, and then we're gonna continue, and we might show you guys a good gelato spot. Gelato, yeah. yeah, it's gelato time. Gelato gel. Neil knows whenever we see a pink wall, you gotta snap it. You gotta snap you it. Gotta snap it. So this one, if you wanna take the same photo, is right in front of the beautiful Duomo. Okay, now for real, we're gonna go get gelato. Wow. wow. So wow. earlier, it was empty on the beach. People were sleeping in. Now everyone is awake. Look how packed it is. It's not even high season. came at a good time this morning. Wake up early. This morning there was nobody there. But, crazy. I mean the sun isn't that strong in the morning, so if you want a tan, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're still on the hunt for gelato, looking for a place and we're getting lost. Oh my gosh, there's so many Jack Russells here and like a natural Jackie. Hey baby. After a long filming period, sweating, carrying this huge backpack and the I huge cameras, gelatos. I get him gelato. Exactly. <laughs> it's not what we were looking for, at least what I was looking for. Yeah. But um, it's busy. It's hard to find like a good spot. I feel like Amalfi had more like gelato selection yeah. than Positano. I feel like yeah, because Amalfi's at least where we went. Yeah, last um, time. 
Well, yeah, they had like two or three spots. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, well, it's okay. I mean, they've got nice cafes. It's just They do. They have really nice bad. everything else. <laughs> so, yeah, we were like, yeah, let's just go here. But it's still very good. But they have good sweets and bakeries and all that stuff, too. So, mm. that's okay. The restaurants itself have like the best desserts. All right, well, we are gonna head back to our place. Yeah, we gotta head back. You don't wanna see the back of my shirt. Oh my gosh, he's drenched. No. He's drenched. Uh, All right, let's go yeah. change. Let's go change. <laughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno. It's the next day, and yes. we are going and hunting for food again. What else is there to do? <laughs> Just food and sunshine and gelato and repeat, right? Exactly. So we are walking down, walking down the steps to get to the beachfront so that we can go get some lunch. And I just kind of threw my hair up in a braid today, not doing anything complicated. And then later on, we're going to get a little bit more dressed up for oh, yeah. dinner and stuff. So I am just taking it easy with a little hat today. Our legs are killing us going up and down the stairs. Honestly. And these have been my shoes. So as you can imagine, not the best foot support for walking. But hey now. You do what you gotta do to look good on vacation. So we have no plans for lunch. We're just kind of like walking along the side here, yeah. looking for something. Oh, that's the place that everyone was saying for the gelato. Okay, Uka. there we go. So we're gonna go maybe over here because I heard there's good gelato there. Yeah. Um, but it's such a nice sunny day. This is like the first day where we just don't have any like yeah. set plans. But I, I love like the days late. like that. And oh my we, gosh. Um, I mean, we've been working and editing and whatnot, but yeah. like, we slept late, we woke up a little late, slept in. It's nice to do that. Yeah. Honestly, and just chill, and so we're kind of just playing it by ear and hopefully find something for lunch. But now, we found that gelato spot. Yes, we so. found that gelato spot, so now we're gonna get lunch, and then we're gonna go get some yummy gelato. Yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna take it easy. All right, so we grabbed a seat, and the view is pretty, pretty nice. Not bad. Not, not bad, bad, not bad, absolutely. So that's where all the feed chairs are out there. Got some paintings. There's actually an artist just out here that's doing paintings. And um, I guess you can pick up some artwork, which is awesome. But what do you see on this menu right now? What are you feeling? Yeah. And then I want fettuccine pasta with meatball in it. Ooh. I want good. everything, to be honest. This is our first course, the bruschetta. Oh my gosh, look. I can't, honestly. All of this like fresh olive oil and tomatoes and the basil, this is just, I can live off this. I literally live off this at home, but it's just so much better here. It's just fresh, like so much more fresh. These tomatoes are so crunchy and unreal. This iced tea literally came from a can, but it is so delicious. Oh my goodness, so refreshing. Literally all I want to do is eat this, and Neil is filming B-roll, and I have to just sit here and stare and look at the food. It's so unfair. <laughs> look at all of these flavors. Oh my gosh, they look so delicious. One of my followers was saying that Kinder was her favorite. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I love chocolate, but then I love like fruity ones. I don't know which one I want. We wrapped up lunch, and now we're having dessert. We just came up here on these stairs at Rada to get the shot with all the umbrellas. So if you're looking for a good spot to take a photo of the whole coast and the umbrellas, definitely come up here. It's a restaurant. This is a spot. This is a spot. But I'd suggest hauling your rear here. Yeah, you gotta walk uh, fast. These melt. <laughs> so. They're melting. Look. So good, we got the gelato at uh, Buca. Yeah. So. Good recommendation. Yes, way, thank guys. you to my follower. Yeah. I have to put in a thank you down below. So what flavor did you get? So I got strawberry. I got pistachio. Neil always gets pistachio. Mm-hmm. I almost got kinder, but then Ooh. I kind of wanted something more fruity than chocolatey. Yeah, the chocolate looked really good too though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these are gonna melt, so we're gonna finish these. 
And then I think we're gonna head back to the room, change, and uh... go to our next place. Yeah. But you have to stay tuned. Sounds like good. So we just took a shuttle up to Hotel San Pietro, and we are gonna go down these steps. It's all the way down here. It's so gorgeous from up here. Such an amazing view. But just wait until you see how it looks, because Neil doesn't even know how this hotel looks. But I did a little Google search and it's so gorgeous. So I'm going retro tonight with my sunnies. Ooh, it's dark in here. Um, and I have a little polka dot scarf in my hair. So I just want to channel like Dolce and Cabana vibes right now. <laughs> Look at these views from up here. Neil is going nuts right now. You look so Italian tonight. Uh, I got him this shirt from Zara. Yeah, you did. You picked the shirt out for me. I did. You look so cute. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. So now we have to go down the elevator. Yes. And it will take us to the terrace. Wow. This is so stunning. So now we're going to go onto the terrace and have some drinks before dinner. So let's go. I feel like a, I feel like a dad in this shirt right now. I legit, like, no, I'm you don't. At oh you look gosh. like an Italian Honestly, stallion. Honestly, all I need to do is just have my cross out and then, like, You're so Italian now. Now, now I'm Italian. <laughs> but I needed to have been gold. And then, Mine is gold. I have yes. a gold one on. So we're going to walk onto the terrace now. It is so pretty. I just want you to look up. There's lemons. Oh my gosh, look at these garden roses. I'm in heaven here. I'm in heaven. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous terrace. It's so stunning. Look at these garden roses. Oh my goodness. They are so gorgeous. I live for this. This is just like my dream come true. So we just got our drinks and I got the San Pietro. Um, and it's like vodka and grapefruit juice and then Neil got this really pretty drink with some thyme in it And it's just so gorgeous. You get like olives and popcorn some nuts and All these little bites and snacks when you come here for some drinks So I highly recommend it because you also get the best view of the coast. It's gorgeous Check this out. The sun has set. Beautiful. The sun is set. And then we're gonna hop in here for dinner. Mm -hmm. No idea what we're gonna order. Yeah. But we're just enjoying. We're just I'm gonna, enjoying. I'm gonna take a guess. We're gonna order Italian food. <laughs> Maybe some pasta. <laughs> Maybe some the problem pizza. with Neil and I is that <laughs> we had fish actually one of the nights. Yeah, we did. But literally, we we are those people that can live off pasta. And We're pizza. basic. I'm basic. So I can yeah, there's that. like one place in Toronto that Neil will just always constantly go to and Damn order me. the same thing. Yes. And that's why we just barely try different restaurants in Toronto because he yeah. wants the same thing. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we don't really go out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we stay at home with the dog we're all the time. <laughs> we're grannies. So yeah, we're just we're just chilling out here. I definitely recommend Italy in April. A lot of you guys were asking yeah. me on Instagram if I would recommend it, and I highly recommend it because it's not very busy. This place is jam-packed in like July and August. So if you can get here like late April, early yeah. May, that would be perfect. The weather is like it's very comfortable. nice. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's like too hot. Especially if you're walking around, you want to see things. Yeah, if you got a backpack on, like like me, and yeah. it's like right now it's like 20, 22 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as June approaches, it's gonna get much hotter. It's gonna hotter get so hot. And much busier. So it's just nice to like not have all the crowds, especially for us because we love to take photos and we make videos and stuff. It's like nice to not have a billion people in your shop. Um, and then a lot of people also <laughs> a lot say. Of Photoshop like September yeah a lot uh, September or October but September is still pretty hot and yes. I think it is still quite busy um, so April I think April is the time to come to Positano late April though late yes. April going into May early May is like perfect so 
Okay. And bring a blazer. Bring a blazer. Men don't make the same mistake I made. Yeah. Bring a blazer. I told him to bring a blazer, but he didn't. I thought bring it was a gonna be hot. Yeah, no. It was like no. it's cool. For I mean, for us, we're Canadian, so for us, this is like tropical right now. Yeah. yeah. Compared to what we have at home. Yeah, exactly. But it cools out at night. Yeah. And you definitely need a blazer. Yeah. <laughs> so bring a blazer, and also because like you want to dress up a little bit more when you're in Positano because. It's not just about wearing your sweatpants and hoodies. It's fancy. You gotta get a little dressed up, especially if you're gonna go to like places um, like this and have a drink and that kind of thing. You wanna dress up a little bit. So bring like some cute slip on loafers, blazers for your hubby or for yourself if you're watching this and you're a man. Um, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, girls like nice dresses. I'd bring blazers as well. Um, so I'm just wearing this top from H&M tonight and it's lace. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it would be really pretty for drinks and stuff like that. I've worn it in videos before. Anyways, I'm done rambling. We are probably, what time is it? Almost Check. 8 o'clock. Almost 8 o'clock. So mm -hmm. our reservation is 8. The restaurant opens at 8 p.m. And we took the earliest one because we need to get our rest. So yes. we yeah, are going to meet you back inside when we sit down for dinner. See you there. And now we are sitting, having dinner. Yes. Well, we're not having dinner, but we're going to have dinner. Yeah. Oops. Look at this view. I love the pink tablecloths. They're so oh. cute. <laughs> that bread looks good. I know. So here's the taste test. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Mm. Yeah. You have to like pick some up. I know. Because the ones at home are just not as... No. Whole Foods just isn't cutting it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I get like the basic like 365 brand of balsamic. Yeah. I need to step it up. We need, need to step it up. Has really taught me that I need to step it up. Alright, catch you guys when uh, we got food on our plates. Yeah. Alright. So they just came by and gave us a slice of margarita pizza to start our meal. Yes. This is my favorite place ever. This is the perfect touch. Just complimentary margarita pizza. So I'm gonna dig in here. We yes. Focaccia. Do you know how soft this is? Like, that looks really, really good. I haven't know. touched that yet. We killed a bit of the bread. I've got some red wine here. I live for this. I live yep. for this. This is what I live for. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got some steak coming on our way. Yes. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. We have the Crostino bread with the ricotta cheese. Beautiful. Sorry. No, no. Grazie. Prego. Thank you. Wow. What is happening right now? It's so elevated. Yes. The whole thing is killing me. This is Crostini. Like, look at this presentation. Gorgeous. Very nice. All right. Live reaction taste test. Let's do it. Thank you. Three, two, one. Pick it, pick it. Thoughts? Oh, All right. <laughs> so good. So I've got some medium rare steak, some potato. Francesca. <laughs> 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 so I just want I just met Francesca, and she follows me on Instagram. Of course. <laughs> she works at the beautiful San Pietro Hotel, and we just had the best dinner. Yes. Thank you very much. Everyone is so sweet here. Hold on, I want to say hi. Say hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at these were so good too. They were the best. <laughs> So we are gonna take the shuttle back. Wow, this is bright lighting in here. That is but we are gonna take the shuttle back to our. our I think our right home. now we're so yes. tired. Yes. Um, and then yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow morning. I think we just need to get some rest. Yes. We're running on like very little sleep because we've been working at the same time. So, mm -hmm. buena sera. We'll Good catch night. You guys tomorrow. <laughs> back in the secret garden. <laughs> Going back down to the beach, we changed. So now I'm wearing shorts. <sighs> I put my hair up, feels so much better. Now we're gonna go cool off and get some gelato. So I just got my gelato from Buka. 
and this one is eggnog, Nutella, and like something crunchy. I asked the woman who worked there what's her favorite one and she said this one and it is so good. I would have never ordered it. So always ask the locals because I always know the good stuff. <laughs> you want to be I in my vlog? I should, I should send that to my daughter. You should! And she would be so jealous. <laughs> Everyone is out on the beach today. We got a little lemoncello for a souvenir. And now we're just looking for a little spot on the beach to have a drink, because it's such a beautiful day. So we just grabbed a little seat here on the beach. And a little drink, I'm having a drink called Copacabana. No alcohol in it, but tastes like a Shirley Temple. It's so yummy. And we've got this beautiful view. Yeah. I got this view right here. <laughs> We're at the Encanto restaurant. L'Encanto. And they brought us some chips and nuts to have with our drinks. It's nice to chill out a little bit. It's literally a war between us, aka our treats, and these birds. They are coming. Don't come for me, boo. Don't come for me. <laughs> So it's our last morning yeah. in Positano. We're so sad. But we are going to meet one of our friends that is coming to stay in our exact home away. Yeah. So we're going to kind of do a little swap and then hang out a little bit and then we fly to Rome. But I first wanted to share this gorgeous breakfast I'm having. Let me show you guys. Nutella crepe with strawberries. And then we've got drinks and we're just chilling here on the beach again. We really like this place. It's called La Pergola. Pergola. Mm -hmm. La Super Pergola. yummy. Yeah. So it's nice. They have brunch here. You can get brunch. You can get lunch. Lunch is served at 11:30. So Neil wants lunch. So he's waiting till 11:30. <laughs> so this is my breakfast, folks. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for uh, uh, a bolognese. The European breakfast. Beer at 11 a.m. Thank you. All right. That's also my breakfast, but they gave it to him, so I'll I'm gonna take dig some in. Bacon. Yeah, I bet you will. All right, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Look who I have behind me here, friends. Hi. It's Haley. You guys all need to go follow her blog, AllisonHaley.com. Please, please, please. Please go see her. And we're just meeting up for a really quick little time. This is Victoria. Hi. Say hi. There's Neil. I'm with a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Neil's missing the hat. He didn't get the memo. The memo. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, just, <laughs> so we're just gonna go for a quick lunch and then we are off to Rome But we just wanted to meet up here because it was so serendipitous that, that we serendipitous. were able to do that We're also trying to not kill ourselves going yeah. down the stairs while we're doing this They know the secret <laughs> garden. This is the secret, <laughs> secret passageway. So we'll see you guys back at lunch oh, He's so baby. cute! That's Jack Russell Count. We should do a Jack Russell Count in this vlog now. Yeah. Alright, All right, salut! Cheers. Cheers. I'm like oh, the only one drinking water. I'm not pregnant. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so we just finished lunch with Haley, and literally, I always get distracted whenever I meet up with people. I forget to like film while we're eating and hanging out because you just want to be present with people. So now we're gonna go back to the home away and pack up our luggage and then go back to Roma. So we will probably do another vlog just for Rome, but I'm gonna leave you with some beautiful b-roll to watch and not me sweating and panting from climbing up those stairs i hope you guys enjoyed this leave me a comment down below if you have any 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 questions i would love to help you plan your trip to positano and in any way i can let me know as always be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next one ciao Bye. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy?